Arcage War is a new upcoming MMORPG developed by Excel Games, developers of Arcage, and pre-registrations for release in Korea are starting from today, January 11. In today's video you will see part of my live stream and find out what we know so far about classes, races and factions of Arcage War. Before we start, let me just say, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content in the future. I am live streaming every evening about 7 o'clock Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. I want to show you something interesting what is happening over there in Korea regarding Arcage War. Yes, you can see good in front of you. This is Arcage War, new upcoming MMORPG. This is not Arcage 2, don't be confused with that. This is Unreal Engine 4 MMORPG and pre-registrations are up over there in Korea. Just uh, maybe a few days ago, I have made video regarding the information which we have currently uh, so far about Arcage War. I have shown you this official website. Also, I have shown you, let's check it out here, official trailer for Arcage War. We can check it out a little bit again. I mean, it's actually a pretty short trailer. And uh, I want to show you actually what I have found out regarding classes, races and factions. Before that, we can check how is looking graphic design of this game. We can see here already different classes in action. I mean, characters using different kind of weapons. And this beautiful footage of uh, combat on the sea. Currently, pre-registrations are up in Korea. Regarding global release, there is still no news, any kind of release date or any kind of plans for global release but probably in the future that will happen. So Arcage War, you can see here date, January 11. And let's now move to show you uh, regarding uh, classes, races and factions, what I have found out. Here you can see some storyline of this game. I will not go into details today. If you are interested into this, you can visit this website. You can see here official website of Arcage War order in Korea. However, here you can see four different flags, four different factions. You can see here Crescent Throne, Andalf Republic, Marionople, and Azuna Royal Family. So this game, Arcage War, is about a large scale PvP battles. That sounds actually pretty interesting, right? And you'll be able to fight with different kind of characters. Let me show you here. First, let's check actually races. You can see already now, just looking at these characters, on the right side we have dwarf, in the middle obviously we have here a human female and human male, then we have elf, and on the left side we have a warborn. Let's check some classes actually and factions of this game. Here we have first a warborn, wow, this is interesting character, right? Look at these weapons on the arms. Class, an excellent warrior and destroyer. The power of their palace is not easily countered by any race and it is imprinted with fear that enemies cannot handle. This is some kind of, yeah, demon kind of race. You can see here, Warborn. Let's go forward. Let's see what do we have here. Then we have here one elf. And I have to say, I like really a lot this graphic design. Check out this character using bow as a weapon you can see here and uh, beautiful beautiful cosmetics right regarding armor look at these boots wow this is looking really good class the arrows shoot by jen raya easily defeat the enemy as if they are filled with the protection of the wind it will deliver judgment to the hearts of its foe with precision no matter what obstacles may be present so this would be some kind of archer or ranger kind of class. Of course, everything depends on which kind of a weapon you are using. And like I said, this elf looking really beautiful. Look at this design. Really nice. Let's go forward. Let's see what we have further here. Then we have here Nuyan. Obviously, we have a human race. This is a sword kind of a weapon. Also interesting design regarding armor. Class. Gobanon, a warrior with exceptional strength, goes into battle as furious beast to enemies and trustworthy guardian to allies. Wow, this is looking pretty good, right? 
this is looking pretty good and let's go further let's see what we have here another another example here we have uh, another human race right A again bow is this bow yes as an archer of 100 and 100 this is rough translation from korean language to english language don't mind that uh, shrenka skillfully identifies and attacks the enemy's weakness similar to those of second hunter this tactic is terrifying to allies as well as foes uh, also looking pretty good right regarding graphic design i mean this is looking so appealing i have to say and then we have on the end a dwarf a shield and sword as main weapon dwarf yeah okay class fighter aiden solid body shines even brighter in the face of countless enemy attacks okay so this is looking also very very nice dwarf so regarding diversity of different kind of races classes and obviously weapons you will not miss anything in arcade war you'll be able to pick lots of things uh, one day in the future probably when we'll get uh, this game released globally sadly for now there is no information regarding that like i have shown you here you can see this is official website for korean release of this game i mean release date is still unknown and uh, all we have now pre-registration but already that come on pre-registrations are up that means also that the release date should be there very soon also regarding in-game features i have tried to find some kind of new information you know to give you something more within this video regarding some in-game details regarding different kind of in-game features i didn't find any details i have only found that sentence official sentence that this game will have focus on large scale pvp battles whatever that means right i mean sieges obviously some kind of uh, some kind of sieges but what else that remains to be seen there are lots of factions here right you can see here lots of flags so i have no doubt that there will be lots of opportunity to do some pvp regarding pve features of the game i didn't see anything but i assume there will be also some pve and you have seen within that starting trailer right that uh, we'll have also battles on the sea which is also pretty interesting to see let's check it out again ships are there right so you can recognize here that original arcade design right from the past so something interesting will be released over there in korea probably very soon during 2023 regarding arcade 2 check some dedicated videos on my youtube channel arcade 2 is unreal engine 5 mmorpg which is developed for pc and consoles however this game here is unreal engine 4 kind of game regarding arcade 2 still no information also regarding release probably that will happen on the end of 2023 maybe even in 2024 if you are interested into mmorpgs check my youtube channel for lots of gameplay videos guides news and reviews from world of mmorpg gaming with main focus on new upcoming pc mmorpgs like throne and liberty arcade 2 ashes of creation odin Valhalla rising blue protocol and many more thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on twitch to see more of mmorpg content in the future I'm live streaming every evening about 7 o'clock Central European time. So join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.